Welcome back to Ludholm Gymnasium, where the Wildcats were back in action to take on Vermont. After a huge win last week against Binghamton, the Cats would feel what Coach Mo referred to as devastation in a game they feel like they should have won on paper, but would ultimately lose by the same result just a few days later. Here's what else was said after the game. You know, I think we were feeling pretty good. <laughs> we hadn't really had a two-game winning streak, I don't think, all season, and um, so our confidence was definitely high, and I think we um, carried that into today's game, and I was really proud of how the team um, showed up today, and we looked like a confident team, and um, I'm proud of how the team's starting to, to play like they deserve to win, and they, they should be winning. Um, definitely, it uh, looks a little different for us than it had in the beginning of the season, but yeah, it's just a tough, it's just a tough way to lose, too, especially on your home court. Um, towards the end of the season, you know, conference season. I mean, these are games that really make a big difference in the standings for us. And, um, you know, winning that game at Binghamton on the road by one, um, you know, that's just, that's just basketball, right? I mean, we got kind of lucky there down the stretch. They missed a shot at the buzzer. We come down <coughs> tonight and we miss a shot at the buzzer and Vermont gets lucky. So I think that's just conference play and, um, you know, hopefully we'll learn from it and we'll watch film and, and, and recognize that honestly, I mean, even though it came down to that last possession, I mean, we didn't really, um, there's a couple possessions in that fourth quarter. I didn't think we executed well and we really didn't play with a sense of urgency where we should have and we kind of waited till the shot clock got too low and, and we, the quality of the shots, I just, well, I honestly wasn't thrilled with, so we have to watch that on film. When asking Caroline Susie about her double-double and playing a full 40 minutes, she told me that she feels like the pressure of having to step up to the plate makes her perform. With such an injury-plagued team right now, Caroline will most likely have to continue to lug major minutes for the rest of the season. With Kari Brecky dealing with an illness and Allie Gribben still out with a concussion, the Wildcats will continue to have to battle adversity as they hit the road again on Saturday to take on Stony Brook. For UNH Wildcat Productions, I'm Kendra Middleton.